Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hope everybody is doing well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Amen. Well, our pastor and his wife are not going to be here. I guess y'all already have figured that out. Uh, whatever he had is migrated over to Sister Scott. Oh. And they both were out of the weather. Okay? Yeah. So they said, would you just please excuse them tonight? Can't hear you. Huh? <laughs> They said, please excuse them tonight and, and uh, get pray for them because, uh, like I said, they don't really know what it is. And uh, we don't know what it is either, but uh, they just want you to pray for them and ask God to give them a touch. And they will be uh, physically ready to come back on Sunday. Okay? So let's remember our pastor and his wife first in your prayers tonight. Anybody else got a prayer request? Praise the Lord. Sister Blinds is going to ask for a block of ice. As soon as they get off, go, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> and if you do that, you're okay. <laughs> oh, please. I, I still on my special, special, unspoken. Special, special, special. God bless unspoken. you. God bless you. All right. Anybody else over in this session? I want God to guide me where he wants me to be. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Okay. Yeah. He will. God's will. For my mom, she's not yeah. feeling well either. Mom not feeling oh, well. Oh, oh, no. Mom and Joe. Mom and Joe. Joe, yeah. Yeah, they were kind of rattling pretty good the other day, too. Oh, yeah. no. Okay. Uh, I've got a prayer request. Um, there's an employee at my work. His name is Jose, and uh, he's been sick, and he has a kidney failure. And oh. so he's um, trying to find a match or a transplant. And um, God, you know, was speaking to me to, to talk to him. And I asked him if all his affairs were in order and if he believed in Jesus. And he said yes. And he started tearing up. He's just like, I just have little kids. And so mm. if you guys can pray for him for okay. healing yes. in his body. Because he doesn't want to leave his kids, which is understandable. You know, right. they're just really small. Right. Um, but yeah, he's just uh, very, very sick. My Lord. Okay. And his name is Jose. Jose. All right. Anybody else? Yeah, I need prayer. Okay. God bless you. Sister Katie says she needs prayer. God bless you. Anybody? Is that it? Remember the students on spring break. Safety. Yeah, students on spring Travel, break. Yeah. You know, every time Great you children. look at the TV, uh -huh. you don't want to hear about somebody losing their life, you know. God forbid. Out of either having a boating accident or on the lake or, you know, it's, it's usually just mushrooms, you know, during spring break. Oh, God forbid. So let's remember our children. We've got some that are in uh, Disney in Florida. Yes. Uh, Lasora, she comes here, you know, pretty occasionally, and little Robert. Yeah, safe That's travel for the ones that are That's out. That's blessing. Enjoying themselves on vacation. That's the way. Was that on Midland? Yes. Oh. I, I, I oh, was like yeah. driving and I yeah, saw that. Say loved ones, unspoken. All right, let's all go to the Lord in prayer. Gracious Father, as we come before you this evening, Father God, you have heard each and every one of the prayer requests, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you're able to touch each and every person, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you are the healer, and Father, that you have suffered every stripe on your body, Lord God, for each and every one of these sicknesses and diseases. Lord, we know that you're able, Lord God, to touch your children, Lord God, who are faithful. Father, the ones that are anointed, Lord God, and the ones that are faithful in the congregation. Lord, as we come before you now, we're asking that you would touch brother and sister Skiles. Lord God, whatever they have, Lord God, we ask that 
they can Thank get rid of that pretty quick, Attorney Lord God. Or go to the doctor, Lord God, and they can diagnose what is wrong. And Lord God, that you will send a healing virtue to go for them, Lord God. Well, we will see them again on Sunday. Father, we also pray, Lord God, for this Jose, Lord God, that needs a miracle touch in his body, Lord God. We know, Father God, you're able to meet the needs of thee. And we know, Lord God, you want to meet the need for him. And Lord God, we know that you're going to keep his family safe. We pray for the ones that are out on vacation, Lord God, the ones that are away from us in other Safe states. Travel, Lord God. Keep Safe them travel. safe, Lord God, and bring them back, Lord courage. God, safe and sound. Let God be God. Father, we Let pray God. also, Lord God, for the unsaved loved ones and the unspoken, request, unspoken, Lord unspoken God. requests. Sister April. Lord, we ask that you would touch it, Lord God, and just meet the need for Sister April. We also pray for Brother Daniel. That, Thank Lord God, that there would be an opening somewhere that you would find him good employment and he would be able to, Lord God, to go right into a new job, Lord God, and everything would stay the same. Lord, we just ask that you to bless them day and night and ask them not to worry, Lord God, but be safe in their minds. Yes, Lord. Father, we also pray for Sister Katie. For the Lord God says she needs prayer tonight. Uh, whatever her need is, Lord God, we ask that yeah, you would meet it for her. And, and we just give you thanks. And also, the Lord God, Lord. the person that was in the accident, Lord God, over God, in Midland, we ask, Lord God, that you would just touch them, keep them safe, Thank Lord God. Lord. And Lord, we just ask for a special need in our church. Lord God, that we would just get rid of the sickness that kind of lurks around in our congregation. We ask, Lord God, that you would just get rid of it for us, and we speak healing to each and every one that is here. And we ask you, Lord God, by the blood covering and by the cross that you have went and paid the price for. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, everybody says amen, amen and amen. Thank the Lord. All right. Faith, faith, faith. <clears throat> Faith, 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 just a little bit of faith. Faith, 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 just a little bit of faith. Well, it don't take a whole lot to see the first you got. Jesus 
set me free. Satan had me bound, but Jesus set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah, Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad that Jesus set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah, Jesus set me free. I'm on my way to heaven, shouting victory. I'm on my way to heaven, shouting victory. On my way to heaven, and I'm shouting victory. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free. Well, I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad that Jesus set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free. Somebody needs a holy 
Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. Thank you, Lord. All right. Do we have one more we want to sing? I don't know. You got one more you want to sing? <laughs> hmm? Well, we can do an offering, yeah. It's always good to take up an offering. He's already up for that. Amen. I'll sing you back. <laughs> He's on the ball. Whatever you want to do. Pray. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's get ready for the offering. And Brother Daniel, would you pray over it before we go, please? Thank you, Father. Thank you for this opportunity for all the children of the people of Acts. Not only praise and worship and prayer, but all the finances as well. Keep your institution going. Keep the words flowing. We thank you for Jesus and all that he's done for us and all that we're able to do with us. Amen. All right, oh, magnify the Lord. All right. That's why we come, right? Oh, it's be a good day. Exciting things. Exciting things for you. Glory. All good. Oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord.
what to do exactly but she started running to the prophet That's right. and when she got there she couldn't even talk mm -hmm. uh -huh. but when she finally said anything he said is it well with your husband is it well with your you is it well with the son she said yeah it's it's well right right so that when he finally realized what was going on he just prayed the prayer and he was well yes Amen. that's Praise the way the jesus does things that's yeah. right he waits for us Glory to depend on him yes. and then he does uh -huh. the job uh -huh. for us. My All right, Katie, I'm going to sing when I get up to heaven. Oh. I have heard a lot of singing 
gonna start to read the over. He's going down the alphabet. Then he finally will come to your name. Yeah. See, that's what counts. Yeah. He'll read it out real clear. <laughs> Grandma, are you here? Well, he'll stand up on her tiptoes. Yes, Raise her hands. I made it here. Let the desire, Lord God, let the glory of the Lord God, do a work 
We ask our hand of God and surrender to be a testimony, God, of your favor, Lord God, to be a testimony, God, of your power and your authority, God, to be a testimony, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah, God, of your favor, God, for your children, God, God, I just ask you, God, to prepare in a mighty way, Lord. Touch them, God. Oh, Lord, you know, Lord God, that they're faithful, Lord. And you know, God, that they serve the Lord God, that they have a hunger within the Lord God. Oh, hallelujah, to deliver your word, God, to please the Lord God, to be used by your Lord God. Oh, hallelujah, we just pray, God, Lord, restore them, Lord, where they can be back where they need to be, God. And a part of this family, Lord God, be here in this church, Lord God, doing the job that you called them out to do, Lord God. Yes, I 
Lord God, we turn to you. We know who we have our faith in, Lord God. Lord God, we look to that great physician. Oh, hallelujah, God. Knowing that we're carefully, wonderfully made by you. Every day. Lord, every day. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. 
And he said, Lord, Lord, where were you? When I needed you, I see only one set of footprints in the sand. Come on, come on. And God spoke to him and said, that's when I carried you. Yes, he carried you. He said, I knew you didn't have the ability to come yes, on your own. Yeah. You needed that help. Yes, Lord God. Yes, yes. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes, yes, praise the Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. God is so good to us. Mm -hmm. Can't begin to praise God enough. That's right. For his... Uh, goodness, his mercy, and his grace. I was thinking there's... Uh, Grandma asked about who was the pastor for the night. <laughs> and Brother Robert pointed to me because I had the jacket on. <laughs> but I, I'm here to tell you, you can, put a, you can put a suit jacket on a pig. It doesn't make it a preacher. <laughs> oh, 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 so, oh, so don't get your hopes up just because the jacket's on me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord, help me. The Bless thing that you Lord. need to look for is the anointing on me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. You can't just take it on and off. Amen. No it's that right. anointing of God that he places on you. Yeah. That's yeah. what yeah. gives you value. Yeah. That's yeah. what gives you power. Yeah. That's what gives you authority yeah. in God. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you. Amen. Lord. Anybody can put a suit on. Amen. There's a lot of businessmen out there. They're wearing suits. That's right. Doesn't mean that they have any standing with God. That's right. That's it. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. I've known a lot of fine dressed people, amen. Mm -hmm. That I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. Come on. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise because they didn't know God. They may have had more money than I have. Mm -hmm. They may have drove a fancier car than I drive. Mm -hmm. They may have lived in a better home than I live in. Come on now. But hallelujah, the one thing that they were missing in their life was the thing that's most essential. And that is they didn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ the Lord. Come on. Amen. You see the things in this life, they're just temporary. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. They're going to come and they're going to go. But hallelujah, I have an eternal home. Over on that other side, Sister Raven. Oh, hallelujah. This is my home. Hallelujah. That's my home over there. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, I think about Abraham. Think about Abraham when God called him. He said, I want you to get out of where you're at. And I want you to come. And go where I tell you to go. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Now Abraham had a family. Abraham had a father and a mother. Yes. In that land that God called him out of. He yeah. did. But they were in a situation that they didn't need to be in. Right. They were in a place, amen, where they couldn't grow in God. That's right. And God said to Abraham, Step out. Yeah. I've got a home prepared for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Get out of glory, glory, glory. glory. Yes. In that book of Hebrews, it says, amen, <laughs> that Abraham, he never saw all those promises come into fruition with the natural eyes. No. Right. Oh, hallelujah. But he was looking for a city that wasn't made by man. That's right. He was looking for a city, amen, whose hands were made by God himself. Glory, hallelujah. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you no matter how hard the journey will get. Yes. No matter, oh, hallelujah, what you go through in this yes. life. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. God has a place prepared for you. Yes. And it's going to yes. be worth it all. Yes, Lord. It's going to be worth it all. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's Thank you, name. Jesus. Oh, we got to be faithful, That's though. That's a wonderful name. we got to do what God instructs us to do. Yes. Amen. Glory. Mm -hmm. Over in the book of Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter and the 31st verse, I want to read. I'll try not to keep you too long here because I feel like God's already done so much in this service. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And the last thing I want to do is step on God's toes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, thank God for what He's done in this place already. Love it. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ezekiel 
Ezekiel 33 and 31. It says, And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Oh. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. God you may be seated. I'm going to ask Sister uh, Katie, go ahead and pray over the... And talk is cheap. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or the expression, put up or shut up. <laughs> yeah. Glory. All right. I was thinking as I was reading that scripture just then, amen, I was talking about people that was worshiping God with their lips, but they weren't honoring God with their actions. Yeah. Amen. And, and I, I thought, you know, what if God did like we do? Oh, no. <laughs> what if God said, well, I'm going to do so-and-so. Yeah. And a month, two months down the road, you think, oh, well, God, what happened? Mm, <laughs> my Lord. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it, you know. That would be like good. You talked about it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Where is it? Right. Amen. Amen. But that's how we do God. We do that, that way with God so often. A man who all has heard the expressions there. I want to do more for the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to do more for the Lord. I've said it. Amen. I would say probably most of us have said it. Maybe not to anybody else. But I bet you said it to God at one time or another. I want to go over on the whole. And the question is, well, then why aren't you? Mm, <laughs> my, my. Well, there you go. I want to get closer to the Lord. Yes. Amen. I want to get closer to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, that sure sounds good. Oh, Amen. Boy. We come up to the altar, Lord, I want to get closer to you. And then we get up, we go back to our seat there, and we walk out the church doors, amen, and we forget about God till the next service. No, 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 no. no. Oh, hallelujah. No, no. No, no. I want to be a better Christian. Hallelujah. I want to be a better Christian. Hallelujah. Then let Christ live in you and through you. Yes. Yes. Glory, hallelujah. That's right. God loves us. Yes. He cares for us. He yes. wants, amen, what's best for us. That's right. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God knows what we need. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the Lord. And if we'll obey when he speaks to us, yes. hallelujah, God will do remarkable things Thank in our lives. Yes. Yes. Obey. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as the people draw near me with their mouth, mm -hmm. and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, oh, wow. and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Mm -hmm. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of the prudent men shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Mm -hmm. Amen. That's in Isaiah 29. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Verses 13 through 15. Wow. Hallelujah. The Lord desires a relationship with us. Yes, yes sir. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Just like a husband and a wife. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can tell your spouse, I love you. Mm -hmm. But if 
but they don't talk to you all day long. <laughs> if they go come home and go immediately to their room, <laughs> oh, close wow. the door, and then they just kind of creak that door open just a little bit and say, "Honey, tell me when dinner's ready." <laughs> he oh, the door open. Lord. <laughs> Amen. They may be saying one thing, mm -hmm. but they're showing another thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We need to practice what we preach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Practice what we preach. We need to step up and do what it is that's expected of us. And I know that that's easier said than done. God knows, amen, that it's easier said than done. Oh, yeah. Bless the Lord. But we just need to examine our words from time to time. Mm -hmm. Consider what it is that we're saying to God. Yes. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 I think one of the problems that we have too many times is we open our mouth too fast. Mm. Amen. We say something to God, and, and when it's all five minutes down the road, we don't remember what we said to God. Oh, my. That's so sad. We've already forgot it. So sad. But I'm here to tell you, God didn't forget. No. God didn't forget what you had to say. That's right. He remembers the words that come out of your mouth. Oh, yes. So we need to stop. Just like I said uh, last time I preached, hit that pause button from time to time. Yes, sir. Yes. Think about what you're saying to God. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. That's right. It's not that you're saying anything bad to God, but you're just saying it on the spur of the moment, mm -hmm. and you're not considering the value behind the words that you emphasize to God. True, mm. true. Those words matter to God. Yes, they do. God expects us to live up to the things that we say to Him. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you folks, there have been many a time, I wish I could say I, it's not true, but there's been many a time that I haven't lived up to the words that I've spoken to God the way that I should. I have. Amen. We all fall short. It, it's... It's a straight and narrow pathway. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take long, or it doesn't take much to get sidetracked if you're not That's careful. Right. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. So we have to be aware of our surroundings, be aware of what we say to the Lord. Yes. To know, amen, Thank you, that words are meaningless yes. without action. Yes. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Bless you. Preacher told his congregation, he said, Next Sunday, I'm going to preach a sermon online. He said, I, I want you, as a body of believers, to help me. He said, I want you to join with me, and I, I want you to, to turn to Matthew 17 and, and read it. Excuse me, not Matthew 17. Matthew 29 is what he said. Excuse me. Matthew 29. He said, I want you to turn to Matthew 29, and I want you to read that and be prepared for next week. And when next Sunday came, he said, I told you that I was going to be speaking online. He said, now how many of you have prepared yourself for this sermon tonight, or this morning? They all raised their hand. He said, well, how many of you have read Matthew 29? And, and like two-thirds of them raised their hand. Uh -huh. and, and he looked over at them and he said, the two-thirds of you that raised your hand, that's who this sermon is for. Because there is no Matthew 29. <laughs> that's right. Oh. Hey, Amen. That's right. No Matthew. Yes. <laughs> they were quick to speak. Like yeah. But their actions didn't back up what they were saying. Oh, hallelujah. We need to back up what we say. That's right. If I've got my finger stuck in the door, I don't want somebody to come up to me and say, I feel sorry for you. I want somebody to come over and open that door right. and get my finger out. There you go. That's right, brother. That's you see, one thing, it may feel good for them to say it, and they may pat themselves on the back. Oh, did you see me? Mm. I showed sympathy to that person. I told yeah. them how much I felt sorry for them. Wow. Mm. But 
But Jesus pretty much said that same thing. Amen. When he was talking and teaching, he said, you know, which is better to go out there and tell somebody that you see a need, I feel sorry for you. God bless you. Hopefully you'll be all right. Or that one that comes up and says, here, let me help you. Let me clothe you. Let me shelter you. Let me provide what you need in your life. Amen. One does nothing to help the person. It just eases a guilty conscience. Mm, on. Amen. We don't need to just ease our guilty conscience with God. That's right. We need to repent mm. and turn aside from those things yeah. that we have done yeah. and look to God as the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Praise brother. to the Lord. That's oh, right. Hallelujah. That's right. I thank God for what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. I thank God for what he's done here tonight. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. It would have been easy to get up here and just ignore the people that needed prayer tonight. Thank you, Father. I could have just got up here at the close of the service and said, hey, we're praying for all of you. But I felt like we needed to get people up here between these altars. And we needed to communicate, communicate with God. That's yeah. right. We need to bind together. We need to let our actions speak words to those people that need something from God tonight. Amen. Let them know how much we love them. Amen. Let them know how much we Praise care for them. Yeah. Let them know that we're praying. Let them see it firsthand, the prayers that are coming forth in their behalf. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is so true. Lord. Amen, brother. Be honest with you, I don't have a, a real long message Thank here tonight. Bless you. Uh, Bless you. And the sister Scouts called me today, amen, and I could tell in her voice that, that she would started to croak. seem like come down a little bit with what our pastor had. Oh, no. And she asked if uh, we could take care of the service, and of course, I, she said, well, I've already uh, got a hold of Brother Robert there and, and made contact, and I just want you to know. God bless and she said, you just do what you feel like you need to do. Right. Preach or whatever. Yes. And so I thought, well, you know what? That's exactly what I want to do. Is yes. just do what God wants me yes. to do. There you go. Yes. Amen. It's not about me being behind this pulpit no. preaching. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I consider it a privilege and an honor. Yes. But it's always about God and what God wants. Amen. What God wants to do. Yes. Amen. 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 And what God wants to do is He wants to use each and every one of us. Oh, that's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's how God has chosen to operate mm -hmm. in this world. That's right. We're to be His hands and we're to be His feet. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Not just the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. yep. Come on. Put it in action. Yep. That's right. And be what God wants you to be. Amen. That's how you change the world, folks. Mm -hmm. It's how you change your church. It's how you change your community. Mm -hmm. It's how you change your city. Mm -hmm. It's how you change your state. It's how you change your country. It's how you change your world, folks. Thank you. Hallelujah. When we act upon what God has poured out upon us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And say, Lord, use, use me. me. Praise the Lord. That word use, amen, that's an action verb. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Lord, let me sit down and just relax for you, God. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Let me turn on the TV for a while, Lord. <laughs> let me do that for you, God. <laughs> let me turn on the Christian gospel station on the radio as I drive to work, God. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> All those things are fine and good. But let's not act like that's us doing something for God. That's right. Amen? Amen. God wants people out doing something in these last days. That's yeah. right. Praise because the time is short. Yes. That's right. Amen. And there are still plenty of souls out there that need to know about Jesus. That's right. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm just going to ask everybody to stand right now.
Aren't you thankful for everything that God's done here tonight? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you all for coming out this evening. Thank you for supporting this church. We love our pastors, and we want them back here as soon as possible. But guess what? Even when they're not able to be here, thank God that we have people here, amen, that are willing to carry the torch and to come out and still praise God, amen, amen. because it's never been a one-man show, and it never will be. Hallelujah. It's all about him and him alone. Hallelujah. Not me. Hallelujah. Not me. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm just so thankful to God tonight. Thank you. Thankful for the Lord. Amen. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Yes. All right. Let's all gather around Grandma back there. And let's have a word of prayer for her. She's come out on a Wednesday night, and we're so excited awesome. about that. Yeah. Yes. She made the effort, and I believe that God's going to bless her for it. Yeah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Lord, right now, I'm here to tell you, Sister Weston, Grandma wants a word. Trust me. Grandma always wants a word. Lord, hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Bask in your love. Bask in the word, Lord God. And receive all that you have for her, Lord God. We ask that you would bless her today, tomorrow, and every day, Lord God. And let her be. Yes. 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 Strength. Strength to her, Lord God. Strength. Strength. Lord God. Oh, Yes, Lord God. Just bless you. Nothing too big for you. Amen. Cecilia, call the thing. Your blessings on me. Okay. Yeah, but I can't remember the words. I think that's what I kept over trying to figure it out figure it out, and it still never came to me.